How's it going, everybody? It's Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Uh, you know, I've been feeling great lately, and I figured I've got a couple of beers in the basement. Uh, I've been trying to sell her, and I thought I'd slowly pull them up uh, and get them on the video. Um, this beer I have up here today is called Morticia Imperial Stout. This is made by the guys downstate in, uh, at Barrier uh, Brewing Company. Uh, I had another one of their stouts when I went uh, camping uh, in May, and I, I brought two of them. One I brought with me camping. The other one I put in the basement uh, to, you know, to cellar. I'm my own worst enemy. I have zero willpower, so it's like those beers. This is gonna last maybe. I think it's been in the basement for about four months. I've got I've had one uh, down there almost two years, uh, but this just looked really good from what I've uh, read on it and from the other people that I've seen uh, uh, review it. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to last that long. And you know, stouts are my thing, but there's a whole write up on the on the side here. Um, you know, if I thought my voice wasn't going to put you to sleep, then I would read it. You don't need me to read it. Everybody in every other video reads it. It's just a little, you know, story about the beer. Um, I think pretty tall tale, if you ask me, from what I read. But whatever. These guys like their beer. And I think I'm going to like it too. Whew. I'm not going to pour the whole thing. Um, I'm just thinking in my little glass like this, I'm going to leave a little bit more room for aroma. But again, before I get started, this is the Barrier Morticia Imperial Stout. So. All right. So, super jet black. Um, super opaque. Your typical stout. And that aroma coming from, you know, a foot away is just everything that you come to know about Imperial Stouts. Um, it's got that great little um, mocha, uh, like a light coffee sort of um, colored head to it. Super tiny uh, packed premium head. Very nice. Looks like it, it laces nicely on the, on the glass. Mm. You, get, um, you get the hints that you are in for all 10.1% of this Imperial Stout. Um, you get the chocolate notes, you get that roasted maltiness, you know, like that tangible, like you can already feel the aroma in your mouth sort of uh, a vibe, do you know what I mean? Yeah, all sorts of darkness. Uh, I think going along with the whole motif of you know, Morticia, you know, super dark, stout. It's dark. It's gonna, I think it's gonna be, you know, just fine. So let's see what this tastes like. Mmm. You get that, yeah, I got that real upfront kick of that chocolate malts. And and it's almost kind of like a, like a dessert liqueur sort of of unapologetic delivery to those uh, flavors. Do you know what I mean? It's um, whew, yeah. There's no mistaking it. Um, smooth, chocolatey. Um, didn't seem bitter and harsh to drink. It had this cool little mellow vibe to it. So let's, let's, all right, now that I've got one down, let's see what else I can kind of pull out of this thing. You know what I mean? I think it's pretty easy to say that you can catch a little bit of um, coffee on the back follow through. I don't think that's bad. Uh, I'm getting ever so light hints of like dark fruit too, which is pretty cool. 
doesn't really give me any sort of uh, hints on the on the bottle as to what to expect, honestly. But it's pretty good. So I get the little chocolatey notes. I get those those roasted um, malts are very easy. Um, get a little coffee in the wash through with a little bit of those dark fruits. Those are really really kind of mellow it out and kind of balance it a little bit. It's kind of cool. Yeah, so this is, I mean, even for being an imperial stout, I'd say this is a lighter uh, of the medium-bodied beers. Uh, you know, some people don't like to drink stouts because they think it's all thick and blah, blah, blah. They're letting their eyes do the drinking for them. Um, this is nice. Um, you're not going to be able to really, you know, mistake the 10.1% alcohol. Uh, some other beers do a little bit better job of uh, masking that, but you're you're gonna taste all 10.1 percent of this. Um, very good. Uh, I get a little bit of aftertaste, but it's an enjoyable aftertaste. It's it's your dark, uh, sweet, chocolatey aftertaste. It's not bitter and it's not funky, uh, and it's not bad. So it's a fine aftertaste to have. You know what I mean? And that's about it. Um, and for, you know, my measure of a beer, you know, is this going to be a hard beer to finish? Not even slightly. This is going to go down just fine. As soon as the video is over, I'll, you know, top the bottle off, or the, the glass off and I'll just take care of business. But um, great beer. Um, kind of exactly what I was thinking or exactly what I was hoping to find out of this bottle. So this barrier, Morticia Imperial Stout, I dig it. I hope you dug the video. I hope it was something that will help you out in the future. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up or uh, shoot me a comment and let me know if you'd like to see any other beers uh, shown on the, on the channel. So until next time, guys, cheers.